Hello, welcome. If you've been watching the news, you've probably heard it already. Trump hates the media! I don't think he is saying he hates the media. When he talks about how the, the media is the enemy of America, he's not talking about every media outlet. In the context, if you watch, he's talking about lying media. That when a media is lying or perhaps working for someone else or whatever, or you know, you know, if they're working for a certain agenda and they don't simply give the facts, but they if they lie about the facts, that's what he's saying, is if they're lying about the facts or things like that, that's not good for America. But then you sit there and you turn on the news and they say, Trump is against free press. Where has he said that? Can someone please show me a video where he has spoken of the idea of media as being the enemy, as if communication is the enemy? If you can show me where he said that, I might agree with you, but I can't find that. Every single time I see it, it is that he is speaking about the lying media, the media within the media that lies, that are not real true journalists. I think that the people who say that he is referring to all media, I think they want to believe that he refers to all media so they can use that against him. But that's not fair. I don't see that from him. What do you say? Hello. If you're watching this video, it could be that you found it on your own, or it could be that someone sent it to you because they care enough that they want you to hear about the gospel. The gospel is pretty simple. Some verses that can be used for the gospel are like Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now you can think, well, you know, most of the religions teach that if you're good enough, you'll go to heaven. It's not what the Bible teaches. Ephesians 2.8 and 9, for instance, says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 3, 19-20 goes on to say, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of, of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So, what's the answer? Christ. John 3.16, you've probably heard it. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 9-10 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's a pretty simple way of explaining the gospel. So, if you want, you can pray, and, you know, if God's leading you to pray and repent and accept Christ as the Savior, then you can be saved.